Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, here's another thing that you can do with these six by six cut apart pages. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back. All of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I really do appreciate it. Y'all, we are really committed to finding ways to be able to use all of the papers in our paper pads, no matter how large the graphics might be or how large the cut aparts might be. So today we're going to take this six by six and I am going to show you one more project that you can do and use some of these in the process. So I haven't made a prototype. We're going to make the project together because I want you guys to see just how easy it is to do this. All right, y'all, so here's what we're going to need to make this super simple project. I'm going to be working with a cut apart sheet that has six by six cut aparts on it. Then I have a sheet of white cardstock that measures six and a half by six and a half. Then I have a sheet of green cardstock and this measures 12 by 12. And then I have another piece of green cardstock, and this measures 11 and 1 8 by 11 and 1 8. So, we're going to take the 12 by 12 cardstock and we're going to score it two and a half on all four sides. So, two and a half on all four sides. Y'all, this is going to be a very, very simple project that you can make whenever you need one of these in a hurry. So then we're just going to fold and burnish our scores. Then I'm not even going to cut out my tabs. So we're going to take the corner and we're just going to bring one corner up until it meets the other one. Then we can go on the inside with our fingernail and hold that down like that. So I'll show you how we do it here. So all you have to do is when you're holding the papers like this, just start squeezing them together and then guide that one piece to meet the other. And go on the inside and crease. And we'll do it all the way around the box so you can see I'm here at the corner. I am just taking these two pieces and forcing them together. And then I'll just guide it upwards you want to make sure that this point on the inside is not sticking out over the top. Then just go in, give a little crease, and we'll do this one too. So I am just bringing them up, joining them. Then I'll go in and give a little crease. Then I'm going to bring in my glue and I'm going to add my glue on one side and fold it over like that. And now I can take my glue on this piece and fold it over. So basically what we're doing is we're making a box without cutting out the tabs. This is a method that I've used on the channel before. I don't do it often, but I thought I'd just share it with you. So let's put it on one part and we'll get that stuck. Then we're going to take our glue and place our glue in there. You can use tear tape if you want. We'll get that stuck. And we just keep going around and doing this. So we add our glue. We're going to get this piece stuck. And you can see that I didn't remove my label. I should have, but I didn't. So I'm going to place my glue there. 
go ahead and get the final thing stuck. And then we do the same thing over here. So I'm just adding my glue. We'll get this stuck. And then I'll add my glue in here. And if you haven't tried this method, go ahead and give it a try. I think you'll find it very easy. It works well when you're not doing the fold over reinforcement. So there's the box bottom. It's seven by seven by two and a half inches deep. And now we're going to make our lid. And for the lid, we're going to score at two on all four sides. So we're scoring at two on all four sides. And this lid is 11 and 1 8 by 11 and 1 8. So we're just going to take this fold and burnish all of our scores. And we're going to do it just as we did the bottom. Let me see if I can peel away. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the corner, pinch it like that, and then we bring it up so that it's like this. Then we can go in on the inside and just crease that triangle. We do this all the way around. So I find that taking my finger and going into that crease and then folding up makes this work out beautifully. Again, we're going to take both ends and when you squeeze in, you just bring one side up. And now we'll do this one. And before I glue it, I want to go ahead and just place down my cut apart. So I am just going to trim out my six by six cut apart. Take my tape runner and add some tape. And I'll take this piece and I'm going to center it on my six and a half by six and a half inch piece. And then I'll add some tape to this. And I'm going to take this piece and we're going to place it down on our box top. So we're using the cut apart as the decorative element for this box. Now we can go ahead and take our glue, place our glue to get that stuck on all four sides. And then I'll place my glue here. And we're going to get this stuck. And we just do this all the way around the box top. I'm going to take one of my little clips and place it there so that that will hold. I'm going to take my glue, place it right there so that we can get that stuck. And then I'll place some glue here. Fold over and get this stuck. I'm going to go ahead and place a clip so I have to hold it. We'll do the same thing here, adding my glue. Go in and get that stuck. Same thing here. Get that stuck. 
And y'all, when I need a box in a hurry and I don't feel like cutting tabs, this is exactly what I do. So then we're going to do the same thing here on our last one. So I'm just going to add some glue. We'll fold that over and get it stuck. And then I'll place my glue in here. And we'll get this stuck. Now I'll just remove my clips. Bring in the box bottom. And place my lid on. And y'all, now we have a beautifully fitted lid on this really large box. It is seven by seven and it's two and a half inches deep. So you can see here at the bottom, the lid is not as long as the base. So you're able to lift off like that. And then we're easily able to just slide the lid on for a beautiful, beautiful fit. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed yet another way that you can take those large cut aparts and use them in your paper crafting. This box is now a great way to present anything to anyone. So go ahead, grab those paper pads and grab those large six by six cut aparts. The next time you need a box, why not pull one and make it the decorative element on the box. And then you really don't have to do anything else to the box except fill it. So guys, I hope that you've enjoyed today's project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.